When the journey began that brought me here to Bergen today, not just in 1991 when I was given the Rafter Prize for Peace, it began a long time ago when human beings wanted to fight for human rights because we are bound together by a common belief in the dignity of the human being. It is because we share the same respect for human rights that we are here today. So my journey to Bergen began a long time ago. The more they isolated her, the stronger became her voice. It was because she had an infinite faith in her cause, in her belief for human rights and democracy. I think you in Norway understand more than most people what light means and how to cherish it. Because of that, I think you have held out a light to us in our times of darkness. You have imparted some of your Nordic hardiness to us in our times of weakness. I don't think I could have stood all this wind the way you can stand it. I wanted to come here simply to say thank you, to thank the people of Norway for their friendship, for their understanding, for their compassion, for their practical help. Without a country like yours that helps for the sake of helping and not because you have a private agenda of your own, many people in this world would be deprived of not just their freedom, but their lives as well, their homes. And I would like to appeal to you. And when we have built a home which is safe enough, happy enough, peaceful enough for our people, we would like, you, we would like to welcome you there.
And I feel honored to have walked into this and heard her speech, and I'm, I'm speechless myself. I'm so touched by what's happened here and having Norwegian heritage and being part of that. I just feel very honored. The third major player in this field of the UNICEF mission in Burma uh, in the first half of the 80s. Oh, I very like because uh, we are waiting the Burmese, uh, exam Burmese from Aung San Suu Kyi to the meet. Uh, we are very happy and very thank you for the Norwegian committee. Well, first I would like to compliment the general, General Mu, and his team for having done a uh, We are closer to a situation where there will be peace with the ethnic groups now than we were, you know, sometimes back, but there are still remaining challenges. And, you know, I would limit myself to say that this is something which will have to be sorted out between people of Myanmar, ethnic groups, central government, different groups, and we will just have to lend our maximum support to that happening. And when it happens, we should be ready to support the follow-up process. But all violence and all strife carries a risk, a risk much beyond the strife itself, because it could topple uh, a process of reform, which is always very vulnerable. The way people have re uh, responded to her, that is people's reaction, and that's a very strong side of, 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 um, of democracy, you know. People turn out and they want to show their, their, their sign, which is a support to her, but also, I think, you know, a deep-felt commitment to the future of Myanmar. You know, we want to see it move in the right direction. And I think, you know, the government should not interpret that as a threat or a challenge, but that's also an opportunity. People care about this country, would like to see it move forward. <laughs> Altså det som gjør det at folk ser den forskjellen. Det er også hun veldig enig. We are not taking side with either part in, in, in Myanmar. I mean, there are different opposition parts. She is clearly leading the character of the opposition. But I think, you know, meeting, for her meeting, representatives of other democracies is also a, a, a contribution to her, you know, grasping a, a broader sense of what the international community thinks about the development in her country, in the region, and globally, her, the situation in Myanmar can be compared to many other situations, but no situation is similar. So I think uh, uh, she carries uh, a huge responsibility on her shoulders from her status, and at the same time she's a member of parliament. She's going to do very daily political work, and that's a lot for a person to carry, but she, she seems to have the integrity to do so. <laughs> Det är inte bara det som är det. Det är inte bara det som är det. Det är inte bara det som är det.